everybody. I'm Puppet Sharp here. Welcome to the Daily Mix. Uh, Angela Sharp. I'm a puppet today because you guys know I love Halloween and I love dressing more goofy and fun during Halloween. In fact, I'm supposed to be going out with my friends this upcoming weekend and they're not wearing any pants. Like both of their costumes are basically one piece swimsuits and I find that odd. I will be wearing pants. I don't know where I'm going to be yet when I hang out with them. But today I'm going to be a puppet and it's so much fun. I hope you already have figured out your Halloween costume because we're getting down to the wire. And if you can't tell, today's show is going to be pretty much all Halloween, Halloween fun, right? Well, what do you think about your, what's your favorite candy? Me? All candy is good. I don't think there is a candy I don't like, honestly. But when you think about candy for Halloween, I think a lot of times you think of like candy corn. And for whatever reason, people love or hate candy corn. I happen to love candy corn. Well, CandyScore.com has ranked the top three Halloween candies in each state based on 14 years of candy sales. So this is legit stats, you guys. Now in Missouri, the top ranking candy is Milky Way. I mean, I'll eat a Milky Way. Followed by Almond Joy and then Hot Tamales. I absolutely love Hot Tamales. In Illinois, it's Sour Patch Kids took the top spot, followed by Kit Kat and Starburst. All right, so what do you think? You know, I really think that when you are going trick-or-treating with like little guys or little people or even yourself, if you're an adult and go trick-or-treating, I think Snickers. Snickers has to be the best. And you know, there's always that one neighborhood, that one house that's kind of close by that gives away full-size candy bars. That is everybody's favorite house. I think my grandparents used to do it way back in the day. They did a full-size candy bar and a like soft drink. And now there's a house near my niece and my nephew that do the full-size candy bar. And it makes me a little jealous because I always want one. I love candy. Send me all the candy. Later on in the show, I've got Bailey here with Scarefest. She is gonna tell us everything we need to know, where we can go see all the crazy haunted houses. They've got escape rooms. I mean, we're gonna get you set for Halloween. So let's get started on today's Daily Mix. All month long, we've been telling you about fun things to do to get in the Halloween spirit. Halloween is this Sunday, and there are so many fun things to do around St. Louis all weekend long. Of course, in addition to trick-or-treating. Now, just to recap, so far this month, we've talked about Halloweekends and Boo at the Zoo. Those are gonna be fun. We talked about Train or Treat at Union Station. I got to go to that with my niece and my nephew, and that was so much fun, especially for their ages eight and four. They had a great time. There's also ghost tours at the fabulous Fox Theater, which should be fun, and burlesque at the Boom Boom Room. We also took you on a spooky adventure at Six Flags Fright Fest. How much fun was that, right? I had a great time dressing up and hanging out with those guys on the train. And of course, we took a look back at the fun I had last year at Brookdale Farms. Now that was so much fun. I really forgot about pumpkin patches because I hadn't been since I was a kid. There's so much more to do now, ever than there was before. So that was pretty neat. And that's what happens. We were there during the day before it turned into Eureka Fear Farm at night. Okay, so that's a ton of stuff to do. Now all those events are still going on through this weekend, but if you've already checked them off your list, I've got a ton more frighteningly fun things for you to do this weekend for ghosts and ghouls of all ages. The Compton Heights annual Halloween celebration is back this year. You can join them this Saturday from six to eight for trick or treating and hay rides around the neighborhood on horse drawn wagons. That sounds fun. Tickets are needed for the hay rides and you can get those throughout the Compton Heights Facebook and Instagram pages. Now, the second annual South Grand Walk, Art Walk, Halloween edition is this Saturday. This is a free event, over 15 local businesses that support local artists. The highlights include a $100 
first prize costume contest, 15 art exhibits, performance art, live music, prizes, of course you gotta have snacks, and a whole bunch more. Registration for South Grand Art Walk will be in the Ritz Park, and the event runs from five to eight. You can find out more at southgrand.org. Now, you can always uh, creep it real this weekend at St. Louis Science Center's annual Science Spooktacular. Costumes are welcome at this free event, and the whole family can enjoy all kinds of Halloween theme festivities, including creepy chemistry demonstrations, graveyard games, that sounds fun, family movies, and more. They even have an escape room. The Science Spooktacular is Friday and Saturday from 9.30 to 8 p.m. both days. You can learn more at slsc.org. Now, of course, there's plenty of Halloween magic to be found at the Magic House. You can decorate a mini pumpkin, make your way through a spider web maze, and enjoy all of your favorite exhibits with a Halloween twist. There will also be storybook characters they come to life at the museum's Not So Haunted House, which also features a spectacular scavenger hunt. Halloween magic runs through October 31st, and the Not So Haunted House is open this Friday and Sunday. All the magical details can be found at themagichouse.org slash Halloween magic. And of course, you know, the City Museum, they have something special for you. It's a spectacular weekend planned. On Friday, bring your whole crew out to Family Spooky Movie Night under the dome for a special screening of Ghostbusters on the rooftop. Then on Saturday, come back for costumes and candy. Wear your best costume and trick or treat at the slides and enjoy a special performance by the Webster High School Band. Go Statesmen! You can learn more about both events at sydneymuseum.org. Now you can witness a, a very special spooks and sights from the comfort of your own car at Grants Farm Halloween drive through I did this last year, it was really cute. Expect to encounter spiders and witches and bats, other creatures of the night as well, plus a few of the farm's cute animals are out. Each vehicle with, a, with children in it will also get a bag of candy and a scavenger hunt sheet. That's new this year. The Halloween drive through continues October 28th through the 31st. Reservations can be made online at grantsfarm.com. And of course, the legendary Central West End Halloween party has plenty of thrills for all ages. The festivities kick off with daytime fun for the whole family, including a kid's costume parade and party, trick-or-treating, and a dog costume parade and party. People love it when they dress up their dogs, right? Then when the sun goes down, it's time for the adults only party featuring a costume contest, DJ, fire dancers, and more. The legendary Central West End Halloween party is free and open to the public. Events run from 11 a.m. to midnight this Saturday. You can find the full schedule and all the details at cwehalloween.com. More fun for those 21 and over awaits at Ballpark Village this weekend at 105.7 The Points. Carn Evil Halloween Party, hosted by The Rizzuto Show. There'll be live entertainment, drinks, access to five venues, a costume contest, and more. Now that's happening this Saturday from 7 to midnight. For tickets and more info, go to stlballparkvillage.com. And you can really get into the Halloween spirit this Saturday at the Lemp Mansion Halloween Bash. I went to this in both 2019 and 2018. I totally forgot about it this year, so I'm gonna have to get tickets because this was a huge ton of fun. So they have an appetizer buffet, a four and a half hour open bar, live bands, costume contests with cash prizes, and so much more at one of the most haunted houses in America. The party goes from 8 to 12.30. For tickets and all the ghostly details, go to the lempmansion.com. Now I told you that my friend Bailey is here from Scarefest. She's gonna tell us everything we need to know about everything that's going on and Scarefest and all the different haunted houses. But you know, I got to go to Creepy World, I think that was two years ago, I think that was in 19, and they made me into a monster. Check this out.
we're going to make you one of our nurses for the new asylum like here at Creepy nurse. World this year. A creepy, scary nurse. It, it just kind of fell into my hands. Um, I started uh, at Six Flags Fright Fest and was painting masks with what was not recommended to paint masks with at the time and then introduced into what was appropriate, um, latex, latex based paints and then from masks to walls to walls to faces. Oh wow. So it just kind of fell into my hands and that's, I'm kind of half and half, paint the sets and do makeup, just kind of what I focus on nowadays. I love it, okay cool. So I guess now we're going to base you out real quick. I have to say, that was the coolest makeover I've ever received. I love that. And I was not at all expecting to lose all my teeth when they gave me that black food coloring. It was so much fun. So, hey, thank you so much, Bailey, for joining me today. Of course. All right, so let's kind of walk through. There's so many different haunted houses that you guys have to offer. So let's kind of go through kind of each one of them. Sure. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, we'll start with The Darkness, uh, the most classic haunted house there is. It's an all indoor attraction um, and it's connected to our escape rooms downtown. And then a couple minutes down the road, we have the Lent Brewery in an actual haunted building and you actually go underground in order to get to the haunted house. Ooh. So that's super cool. And then about 20 minutes out, we've got Creepy World out in Fenton, which is an all outdoor haunted screen park. We are America's largest haunted screen park. So there's plenty to get whenever you come see us there. Holy cow. I mean, there's so, there's so many different haunted houses. Now, how long are these haunted houses going through? Just the weekend? Uh, so we're actually, two of them, The Darkness and Creepy World, are going through November 6th. And then The Lemp is going through Halloween. Oh, I wonder. This is wonderful. Okay. So let's kind of go back. So Creepy World's one I went to, and you guys made me up. Yep. And you actually gave me, what was that, scare class, so I yeah. could try to scare some people. That is harder than, I think a lot of people <laughs> think that anybody could be somebody that scares somebody in a haunted house, but there's so much more to it than just boo. Yeah, a lot goes into it for sure. And we have high standards for all of our actors so that each guest gets a unique experience that they can go home and tell their friends about. I mean, when I was talking to some of the people that worked there, I mean, they had backstories for their oh, yeah. character and they talked in a different voice. I mean, it was so cool. Yeah, they get they get really into it. For a lot of these people, uh, this is, you know, what they look forward to all year round because it's an escape from reality and they get to become whatever monster they can come up with in their head. I love that. All right, and then the darkness, like you said, is mm -hmm. the, the one everybody knows about. Yeah. You guys have had things in the past um, that even go outside of the haunted, like the Halloween area, like you had a Valentine's yeah. Day one. Yep, so we do a lot of off-season events at the darkness. We do Valentine's Day and we do Christmas and we have started doing Scream Break in the springtime oh. now. So we have a lot, a lot of options. There's so, okay, so that's really fun. And now there's escape rooms now. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows an escape room is kind of cool and you have to use your mind. Is this a haunted escape room? Some of them. Um, so we do have six different ones to choose from, soon to be seven as of next year. So we do have themes that range between family friendly, like the Wizard of Oz, and then we also have stuff like our serial killer cellar. So there's kind of something for everyone there too. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I always thought in a different life I could be a serial killer. So that's the one I wanna go to. <laughs> sure. That would be so much fun. Okay, and then the Lemp. Of course, there's so much history mm -hmm. about the Lemp Mansion and everybody kind of that grow, grew up in St. Louis kind of knows that story. That makes it even 10 times more scary to go there. Have you ever experienced a real ghost? <laughs> I personally there? have. Um, I like to say that if you don't get scared by our actors, something else in the building will surely scare you. <laughs> See, that's pretty creepy. And you go, that's underground, you said. Correct, yep. So I can't get out even if I like, got freaked out, I'm, I'm kind of, I have to go through this haunted house. Uh, so we do have emergency exits. We can always get you out if it ever becomes way too real for you, okay. um, but you are definitely underground. There are quite a few stairs to get Ooh. down and to get back up. 
Now, I see that you came here like your normal human self, <laughs> yeah. but I have seen you dressed up before. Yes. What is typically your character when um, you're dressed up? Honestly, I like to switch it up. I get a little bit bored sometimes, so I have a whole closet full of characters. I'm out at Creepy World. You can usually find me as my nurse. That's my favorite to do, just like you got turned into one. It's a, it's a classic. It's a, it's a great <laughs> one. It is. It's great. The creepier, the better, is what I think. Or, or you know, goofy with strings. Yeah. But the strings are getting a little bit hard here. <laughs> I gotta tell you. So, what else can you tell us about Scarefest in general? You have just so much. Yeah, we do have so much, um, and there's still plenty of time to come see us. So, the Darkness and Creepy World are now open every single night through Halloween, and then Lemp is open this weekend again. And then, like I said, Darkness and Creepy World are also open the first weekend of November. So, if you haven't come and seen us yet, there's no excuse. There, you have to. There's plenty of time. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people, especially people maybe with kids, they get so caught up making sure the kids are having fun, yeah. they forget to do their own fun thing. Absolutely. So you've expanded some of these so they can also, you know, get a babysitter and go have some fun yep, for themselves. Yep, we have plenty of options. What's the youngest person you've seen come through one of these haunted houses? Honestly, I have seen babies get carried through these haunted houses. Really? And they have fun with the actors. They don't even know what's going on. They just know they're having a fun time. That's so great. Now, do you still have like, there was a Christmas theme thing at Creepy World. We do, yeah. We do still have our Krampus house, our Jack Frost Revenge this year. Oh my gosh, that was that that one was my favorite. <laughs> it, that is a fan favorite. Do you ever get like those ones yourself? Since you're there all the time and you get to see all of it, do you ever get one that's just like stands out to you? Oh yeah, it happens all the time. Um, I think currently my favorite is the Dollhouse. Um, I started in that whenever I first got with the company, so it's got a special place in my heart. So I love that. No, all your actors are already hired, but. For next year, when can somebody start being on the lookout if maybe they want to join the fun? Yeah, absolutely. So we start our auditions in August and they run until the week of our opening. So if you want to keep up on any of our social medias, our Instagram, our Facebook, our website, that's where we post all of our applications and our audition dates. But I'm telling you, this is not, you can't just be like, oh, this will be so easy. I'm in the dark and I can yell boo. It was so hard. Like I had a hard time doing it. Yeah, a lot goes into it for sure. You definitely have to be able to put yourself out there and, and be aware that you're going to embarrass yourself in front of a lot of people. It's really more for like people who maybe want to be actors or have mm -hmm. started acting in some way because they can really get into those characters. But if you're seeing any of these photos we are showing on the screen, they are creepy and it's scary. And that's what Halloween's supposed to be about, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Scare everybody. All right, let's give everybody the info just one more time mm -hmm. so they can kind of make their plans. Yeah, absolutely. So you can find all of our schedules for our remaining dates the rest of the season on all of our websites. You can go to scarefest.com and it'll give you direct, direct links to buy tickets. Uh, then you can also check us out at stlouisescape.com if you want to see something that's a little less in your face, a little more critical thinking. There you go. See, they've got something for everybody. Mm -hmm. If you want to be super scared, or just maybe be scared and use your brain. I love it. <laughs> Bailey, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, of course. Now, after you check out Scarefest and plan which haunted house you're gonna go to, make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. We wanna hear from you. That's gonna do it for the Daily Mix. We keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis. I'll see you next time.